to building a home without regrets is starting with the right builder. And that's what we're gonna unpack in this video. Oftentimes, you'll pull up to a community like this, they'll have a list of names of builders. People try to go from model home to model home, place to place, online researching reviews etc and it can feel overwhelming i can't tell you how many times when i worked for a builder in a model home when customers would arrive exhausted famine i would have to keep snacks in the model just to keep people going because they've been from place to place just overwhelmed looking at the different options well this video will be your guide and your starting point for our series on how to choose the right builder for you so i can't stress enough Enough that when it comes to building your home remember every region in the country builders are going to be different and even some of the national names are going to have a different local reputation so you want to be sure that you stay tuned we're going to be unpacking all the details because every builder has their strengths and they have their limitations and that's what we're going to uncover today so stay tuned guys it was definitely a toasty day here in the state of Florida, so I needed to come inside so we can unpack all these details for you. Starting with understanding our categories of builders, I remember when I worked for a builder hearing a customer saying that, why well, spend over $600,000 for this home? I should be able to make the changes I want. Well, the builder I worked for at the time was an inventory builder and they didn't allow for changes at all, like at all. So she kind of built with the wrong builder. But you need to know that in advance. And how you're gonna do that, I'm gonna give you the category so you can understand which category that you may fall in based on your wants, needs, and desires. Starting with, guys, our inventory builders. That was one of the builders I worked for in this area. You may have heard their names. They're some of our big national builders like Lennar, DR Horton, et cetera. Then we have our standard production builders like Haby Homes, Richmond Homes, America, Pulte, et cetera. We have standard production. Then we have luxury production, right? Still production, but it's just a difference between standard production and luxury production. Then what we have next is semi-custom, then our custom builders, and then what we call luxury custom. Remember, that's kind of like the Bentley. So another way to think about it, guys, is like when you think about a car. So you think about a Corolla versus a Camry versus a Lexus versus a Bentley, okay? The more included features, the higher the price, right? So let's start with our inventory builders. Inventory builders are great for those like first time home buyers, people that are retiring, people that are on a budget, people that maybe with these interest rates being a little higher right now are still trying to stay within an affordable payment. Inventory builders offers that affordability that other builders cannot because they are able to buy in bulk. So they can buy a million white cabinets, a million brown cabinets and a million gray and then they're able to get them at a discounted rate and then pass that savings on to the customer. But their limitations are you cannot personalize. It may be that your home might feel cookie coated. It may look similar to the one two, three streets away. Y'all won't see each other, it's fine, okay? <laughs> but they can't make changes. The more changes they make, can't, they can't buy you know, a million of 15 different color cabinets. They can only do three and then they're able to save and pass that savings on to the customer. And then you can personalize the home later. Here's a few of our inventory builders. Now, our next category of builders, what we call standard production. That could be any um, builder from like Richmond Homes America, uh, Mattamy, KB Home, Holiday Builders, etc. Our standard production builders, depending on their neighborhood, may offer different levels of included features. And what really makes a difference between a luxury production and custom production is really the included features and the infrastructure behind the wall. So this is where we're really looking at maybe the Corolla versus the Camry, okay? If that's a, a realistic analogy. So the good thing about standard production builders, they will still give you that affordable price, but they'll allow you to make the changes to your home at a price, of course. You can go to their design studio and still personalize your home, but, you can't just make any changes to the floor plan. They're gonna have like five floor plans per community. And within those five floor plans, they may be um, floor plan A1, A2, A3, A4, where you can maybe change the bathroom or change, add a room or change a study to a bedroom. But it's not like if you wanna just uh, move a wall, change this to add a kitchenette, add a cabana, you can't do that with standard production builders. They're a production. Builder. 
All right, before we dive into our next three segments of Builders, I wanted to stop and take a moment to introduce myself to those that may be new to this channel. My name is Kashira Francis, AKA Francis for short. Um, I am a licensed Florida real estate agent, licensed throughout the state of Florida. I've had the privilege of working directly for builders in this area. I've lived here in Northeast Florida for over 20 years. Started off as an educator in this area before um, diving into construction and helping families from all over the world relocate to this area and build their dream home or just buy an existing home or vacation rental, please know I'm here to be a resource and a guide to you. And if you need help, don't be afraid to reach out, text, call, schedule an appointment on my website. Let's jump into our next category. Okay. The same when it comes to our luxury production builders. They offer a higher included feature package. So instead of saying um, laminate countertops, they're, act, they're offering quartz, they're offering a gourmet kitchen. Um, they may have what we call um, the two by six infrastructure versus the two by four. So standard production builders will often build with a two by four infrastructure. Luxury production will often have this two by six infrastructure behind the wall. This is way, it's a lot more expensive, okay? So, and they may have the R19 installation, just more, you know, uh, quality behind the wall. We'll dive more deep into this in our next video, but just to give you a peek into the difference between a standard production builder versus a luxury production builder dealing with the infrastructure behind the wall. Now our luxury production builders will use a higher grade insulation to help make your home as energy efficient as possible. This picture here is an example of the R19 insulation. Now there's our next category of builders that use up to R21, but you'll see the difference here between our standard production builders versus our luxury production builders and what they use behind the walls to insulate your home. Stay tuned. Some of the builders that are considered maybe luxury productions, anything from you already know, like Toll Brothers, Providence Homes, um, uh, Riverside Homes, and a few others. Ashley Homes, okay, a few others. They have standard changes that they can make within their floor plans, okay? It's not like if you say, oh, I want a, one of my customers wanted a special type of bathroom. None of the standard production builders, even the Toll Brothers, were able to give my customer what they wanted. So we had to go to the next category builder, which is our semi-custom to custom to get what they needed, okay? Now, one semi-custom builders that you may have heard of is one of my favorites, Mastercraft. Now, there's plenty others. Mastercraft, they have like solid core wood doors inside their home. So again, higher included feature package. So your inside doors are solid wood, okay? Um, they were able to make changes. So they're able to say, if my, my, one of my customers wanted to turn a room into like a, an apartment for their parent, they wanted to add, sub, extend the wall and do some other features, add a, like an RV hookup thing. And so they were able to do all those changes with a semi-custom builder. Now they couldn't just bring them a sketch of what they wanted and the semi-custom builder deliver it, but they were able to customize um, the floor plan in whatever manner that, um, whatever building code would allow, okay? Now custom, like ICI Homes is one of our custom builders, you're able to make more, even more changes than you could with a semi-custom. And luxury custom, basically you work directly with the architect and build whatever home you want. They still have floor plans, but you have unlimited options as long as you have an unlimited budget. <laughs> you can build whatever you want, as long as you're willing to pay for it, okay? That kind of gives you an overview of our categories of builders, okay? Now, some of our luxury custom builders, I know you may be like, so who's a luxury custom? It's like Glenn Layton, Often Ruthenberg, Heritage Homes, and I'll put up a whole list. There's, there's plenty of them for you to pick from, okay? So again, understanding the category builder is the best way to then determine which category builder is best suited for you. Now there will be limitations one way or another, but it's always best to first start with that. The next thing is we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about in each category, each one of those builders will have their strengths and have their weaknesses based on quality, warranty, customer service, and so much more. And we'll jump into that in our next- Thank you for watching to the very end. Please be sure to stay tuned for the next video.